everyone, welcome to a new episode of Homerati. We are very excited to have a new person on the panel with us. This is Dave. Hello. Hello, Dave. And tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, you all know me, but I'm a recent law school graduate at UBC here in Vancouver. Um, and Tommy suggested I do the show, Replace Nick Op. Yes. For one episode. For one episode. For one episode. For one episode. That's yeah. why I wore my glasses. And right, yeah. and you have an imitation of him, don't you? Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, think I went and got my owl tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> so, Don't get that started. <laughs> yeah, and right, so we, we do know Dave. We were actually, uh, the three of us were all at uh, Sunday Fun Day this past weekend. And no, we, I wasn't. I was at home. Yes. I, no, right. you, I was at church. Oh, right. When Tommy saw that I was there, he came and picked me up and he's I like, did. oh, you're here. And yeah, right. it, was, it, and was, it was a good weekend actually, just overall. I mean, we had the um, Vancouver Fan Expo, which is like awesome. It's up, right up your alley. Yeah, it was great. And, um, and then on Sunday, we just had a bunch of people out and, and we just terrorized Vancouver. It was great. Really? Until 8.30, then I went home to bed. 8.30. And then wait, you're usually at this, so where were you? I usually am. I was watching Game of Thrones with some friends. Okay. How many weeks in a row have we done this now, Patrick? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, Actually, four, five for you, five yeah. for three me. for me. Yeah. Um, but there is one thing that I do want to share with you guys, and some of you may already know. That you didn't go home alone last night? <laughs> oh, wow. No. <laughs> No, and that is that I, a few days ago I actually found my birth family. So I found nice. my birth mother and um, talked to her on the phone for the first time. And was, How was that? It was crazy. It was actually, it was very surreal. Um, it was literally like talking to a stranger, right? Uh, and it was kind of like, you know, how was your well, life? Well, it is like talking to it a stranger. It was talking to a stranger. So, but I mean, it was just surreal that it actually has finally happened. And I'm interested in, you know, seeing what happens next. And I have two uh, half brothers and half sister as well that I'm interested in meeting. And they live in Alberta. So... Um, I might find myself there visiting them at some point, but yeah, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Big cool. development in my life. Um, well, I want to share something important in my life. Okay, and what's that, Tommy? And that is the Kim and Chris <laughs> divorce. <laughs> Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphries are finally divorced. And do you remember how I was saying... You were obsessed with the I'm money and that $50 million dollars and he's gonna bang. He's gonna get her and it's gonna be big fraud and yeah. he messed up because he didn't show up in court the first You're time. He didn't show up. And then the, when they went to court the second time, the judge just gave him a divorce, no annulment, and he got nothing. How does he not get anything? Is he doesn't get anything. But that's like Brina. part of divorce. Oh, so they had one. Yeah. Doesn't he get his fee from Mama? No, I don't, I, I, just, I don't even know what's going on with that, but... He wanted to prove that it was fraud because he can get it annulled, right. okay. and in that case, I mean, you're a lawyer, you know this stuff. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm a lawyer, it's American but too. It's, it's a bit yeah. The prenup is is null and void if it's an annulment, but I guess that didn't happen. Mm. So, Why didn't he show up? I don't know. He was mm. just didn't want to go, which was I think, and I think he shot himself in the foot with that. If he didn't show up on his first court date, that's brutal. Yeah. California probably one. has some special celebrity divorce rules yeah. or something. Someone else on the E Network. I know you want to talk about this. I didn't really want to talk about this. Um, because I hate him, Ryan Lochte. The reason to talk about it is because you hate him. Yeah. He's such an idiot. <laughs> like, yeah, can we are. shoot yeah. to a part let's of this watch, interview? Let's watch, let's watch the, uh, the Fox, Fox 29 News, News interview. Philadelphia thing. Wake Up interview. Okay, go. Is it bothering you to have the cameras following you around everywhere? Or are you getting used to it? Uh, you know, I'm getting used to it. And yeah. I mean, the first couple of days, it was a little weird. Yeah. Um, just, I mean, I was brushing my teeth and the camera was there. And I was like, <laughs> what are you guys doing? They but, go to the bathroom? Know, I thought while, the bathroom was off limits. It. There's a like a there's like a, a mirror with a sink and then you have the bathroom. So Right. And he's not going separate over the those area. Two. Okay, Ryan, good luck to you. We'll be watching. Uh, thank you. What was the question that stumped him? <laughs> what, 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 what a woman can say. Oh, what, what a woman can say. So funny because he is actually really stupid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's dumber than nails. They were trying to make excuses for him, like that he couldn't hear the questions or whatever, but that's not. No, he's just he dumb. He repeated the question. Yeah, he didn't yeah. answer. Yeah, he's, um, so yeah. I worry, I mean, I can't believe that they actually gave him a show. Well, yeah. people are going to watch well, that. There's a whole reason idiot. they gave him the show, yeah. yeah. Also because he's very pretty. I just well, can't watch uh, <laughs> I actually, like, I can watch some pretty trashy TV. I just, I don't think I could. I hate his catchphrase. I hate. Everything about Gia. Gia! Yeah. Like, yeah. even a word! Well, as long as he does it with his American oh, flag grill. Too much. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> but there, I, I loved it though, just to show how stupid he is. So where people stupid. were like, no, he's not that bad, and it's give him a so chance. Dumb. And he went on this daily show version of the news, and he should have known what he was getting into with this. I just love those two. Those They're two good. are great. Great. To be fair, it's probably way more publicity than he would have gotten if this was some boring yeah. interview that went fine. So. Yeah. so these people are no strangers to controversy and headlines no, like this. They but do that. one other person that just recently made headlines is Reese Witherspoon. This and 
and this, this is kind of shocking. So. And I, I completely missed this this entire like when it happened because I was nerding out with my friends, right? <laughs> but uh, when I when I finally logged in um, and and kind of read up on everything, she's in j she went to jail. Yeah, yeah. She, Reese Witherspoon got arrested. Do they have a mugshot? They have a mugshot. She's not even looking. Yeah, like, like, I don't, it's I don't cute. Know. It's cute. I like her mugshot. It's a cute mugshot. Really yeah. She's kind of ashamed, but yeah. she's also like, I'm still Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. yeah. So the whole drama was her um, her and her husband were driving, and her husband, I don't even know his name because he's not Rod Philippi anymore, uh, so who I'll cares? Yeah. Um, he got pulled over for drunk driving. Drunk driving. Of, 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 of drunk driving. And then she got out and she started. Do you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? You're about to be on the national news. Let me in this club, yeah. Jen. Like, don't you know who I am kind of thing. So, um, so it was, I mean, I just. They told her to sit on her butt and be and quiet. It's, <laughs> it's just a lot of people are saying now she's at least interesting. Yeah. So. Well. I mean, it's awful. She's, she's a mom, isn't she? Doesn't yeah. she have some little kid? She has. She like has a three. three. Yeah. Two or three. Side like, note: Why is a multimillionaire driving home driving from a party? Why didn't she get car service? Yeah. But I mean. They all do that. They all do that. They're yeah. idiots. They're stupid. Well, moving They're on from that. Um. In music, I wanted to talk about the new music video "Can't Hold Us Down" from Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Have you guys seen it? Yes. yes. Okay, before Shoot we talk about it, let's, let's take a look. Trust me, I'm my I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T shit hustling. Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track bussing. Halfway across that city with the back, 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 question. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give that to the people, spread it across the country. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give it to the people, spread it across the country. Epic. I loved it. Yeah. Really? Are you kidding? Okay. <sighs> it's not thrift shop. The song itself is not thrift shop, which is their big hit. It's it's a. I would think it's a. Like you can tell they have a big budget. It's their second big yeah. song. Or supposed someone's to be behind them song. now. Yeah. And like they've got a company. I just. Okay. I'm gonna. I might say something a bit controversial. Oh, okay. oh Do you remember when No Doubt's video got pulled? Yes. The native, yes. The second one. Isn't this kind of like the same thing? No. Uh, it's not like wearing a headdress. Well, I mean, one of them was. Wasn't that like, like the dances with wolves mm -hmm. thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. kind of the well, they went on like that's, six different that's continents that's or something. Like I feel that. like and it was a celebration of different types of people mm -hmm. and their yeah. ethnicities, and it was done in a fine way. Like it was okay. done as a joke. I'm just, just, I'm just saying, I'm just playing devil's advocate. I just wish the song were better. I kind of, I'm I kind love of not into yeah. this. I'm oh. kind of not into them. Been doing it since I was 14, and oh. now I'm made, like I'm not into those songs. Rap? Yeah, no, I'm not rap. But I just like it's just a bit of an ego and like a struggle and like sing about your grandfather's clothes again. Okay, well here's the thing. Different. This song I'm refreshing. Yeah, came out before, like it was released before whatever, Thrift Shop. Thrift Shop. This yeah. was came out in like 2011. Oh. So we're judging on things that are old. So let's keep it there. No. <laughs> let's keep it you know what? It only forward. made a resurgence because Thrift Shop did so well. Yeah. People were like, what else has he done? A lot of people like this song and then they made it. I'm the pretty video sure he also it. performed it at, on SNL when they did when he did oh, yeah, Thrift he's Shop. Done, they did both. Yeah. yeah. But if he's you're gonna have this huge catchy song, Carly Rae Jepsen, you have to make your sure your second song is it's really good. good. And I think it's good though. It's a different type of good. This is his this isn't even his like this is actually it's his third thing. Yeah, and I'm just I'm just not into this song. I think it's I, he should have stayed like catchy and fun and da da da. But now he's just whatever. Okay. And the video is way too long. It's seven minutes. Like I'm over it. Oh okay. please, okay. Lady Gaga, Gaga. 14 minutes. Well, I never watch those videos. It's too much. It's, it's too, too much. much. Uh, <laughs> new catchphrase. You're saying you never watched the Lady Gaga videos? No, I did. But even hers, I was like, okay, your videos are great, but they're so bloody long. Like, All right. So moving on, let's talk about um, some. A different song completely. Um, it's not rap. It is uh, Lana Del Rey's new song, Young and Beautiful. It's getting a lot of buzz, and it's for. It's actually the theme song for The Great Gatsby. Gatsby. So let's take a quick listen to that. I know you will. I know you will. I know that you will. Will you still love me when I'm not? Uh, to me, it reminds me of like a not so great version of like the Adele opening to the 007. Like I could see this opening it and it's like supposed to be slow and kind of dramatic and leads up to more exciting They definitely end. have like yeah. a, they, they're there's a similar thing. Yeah, there's a similarity between them. I actually think Lana Del Rey is one of the worst human beings on the planet. Oh my god. Whoa, that's harsh. I think she, every, I, I feel like every thing she sings or does is such a chore to her. She's like, so bored. She's it's so just her bored. sound Do you think she actually hates what she's However, doing? However, I think she hates what she's doing. However, 
I didn't mind this song. Okay. I actually I think, liked it. It was yeah, kind of I think the fact that you're even comparing it to Adele is, you know, that's a compliment because I actually got the same vibe that it's... Oh, it's, I did it, not compare it to Well, it's no. like thematically similar. Yeah, They're this song is getting level. a lot of buzz. Um, yeah, just, no, I mean, no. and it's creating a lot of buzz for the movie just because of that. The soundtrack for this movie is pretty epic. There's but, way better songs on that soundtrack. Yeah, I actually like the Florence and the Machine The Florence song, song is, is... The ending is amazing. Yeah, but there's also Fergie and there's Beyonce and there's you know, a lot when of... When I saw the trial, I was like, Fergie? Like, what is this going to be? Like, Fergie, Fergie? But it's actually, singer. it's really good. And the um, Emily Sande did the a swing version of Crazy in Love yeah. for the soundtrack. Yeah, it actually makes me want to see the movie more. My whole thing with Lana Del Rey is I am uh, really not looking forward to her singing that song live because it's going to sound like those screaming goats. I just, I know. <laughs> the Taylor Swift She's screaming awful. Goats. Have you ever heard her Yes, I saw that SNL. We played oh, it on here. She's the worst. The worst. Worse. She's had like, time to fix hater. it. Like I like when she has her little hair flip. Though. But she's like, mm. she's twenty six. She's but figuring it out. That's her thing. Oh, you should have that shit figured out by the time you're twenty six. Ah. I feel like there's a team of people behind her poking and yes. prodding her, and that's why oh. she's got her name out there. I hate her. Oh, it's her f millionaire father is the reason her name's out there. So Side didn't she note. have another name before? Was yeah, she, she had, like, not four Lana names. Del Rey? Yeah. I don't mind her. It just like when we post about her on the website, people are obsessed with she's her. She's a very polarizing she's got figure. I was gonna yes. say people either people love, love her or they hate her. They yeah. hate her. Yeah. So I mean, fine. I think the people that like her are the people that like things that aren't mainstream. Yeah, yeah. right. Or, or whatever, like or right? things that things like, that you are just trying not to yeah, be mainstream, but they are mainstream. Like she, she yeah. is mainstream. She is. But I think that this song is Hipsters, sort of her. Yeah. This song Next I think song. is her opportunity to get more mainstream because it's gonna have a mass appeal. It's the theme song for the movie. So and she's I mean, just gonna her career is just gonna bomb when people figure out that she's, she's gonna, gonna blow crud. up and you're gonna eat your goddamn I hate her, whatever. Would you spend money to see her in concert? No, no, absolutely not. But I don't hate her or the song. I just Eh. She was terrible on SNL. But. She's terrible all the time. Because she can't <laughs> sing. She's a goat. Can you sing better? Probably. Can you? Yeah. Do it right I'd now. love to see it. Uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's enough about Lana Del Rey. We'll talk about movies right after this, and we'll start with The Great Gatsby. New York, 1922. Human the tempo of the city had changed sharply. The buildings were higher. The parties were bigger. The morals were looser and the liquor was cheaper. The restlessness approached hysteria. Shall we? Who is this Gatsby? Do you know him? War hero. Mr. Gatsby doesn't exist. Gatsby? What Gatsby? All right, so that was The Great Gatsby. So we're going to talk about that first on the agenda for movies. And Dave, you were going to... Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I feel like uh, everyone's excited for this movie. It's yeah. Baz Luhrmann, yeah. Romeo and Juliet, Moulin Rouge. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I can't. I can't get it. Like, Why? Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio is star. He's got a voice like he's still Jack from Titanic. He's still a twelve-year-old boy. I in love a forty-year-old man's Not body. Not close. Yeah, she's cracking. Oh, he's so. crack. She's cracking a big bloated face. <laughs> oh, anyway, side note. Harsh. That was a side note. I'd still do it. Uh, still do I don't it. know. I just I can't get excited about this movie. Leonardo DiCaprio ruins so everything. I'm so excited. I am too. Are you? Whoa! <laughs> what did you say? Leonardo DiCaprio does not ruin everything. Yes, he, he does. Okay, I take Are, it. Uh, uh, For real? Really? Yeah. Like, this is, Can we stop it? <laughs> Dave leave? Yeah. Yeah. I think he's fantastic. He makes the best movies. The I will say best. that about him. He is so smart in his movie choice. Yeah. And I loved him in like Inception and fucking everything else. Yeah. Like, Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Yeah. Basketball Incep Diaries. Inception, Inception, Inception I'll give you. Revolutionary Inception, Road. Give you. Basketball no, Diaries was no, amazing. I love that movie. No, no. Inception, I, I will give you that. I feel really like he's, I just want him to get an Oscar though already. Like I feel so yeah. bad. Well, I think yeah. this one is, you know, a yeah, good opportunity. Yeah, no, they're releasing it too early. Everyone's going to forget about it. But no. Gonna around. Anyways, but so. But it's that kind of artsy weird movie that the Oscars will reward sometimes. Well, but yes, uh, yes, that's like true. Like Moulin Rouge, well, which always... should not have been nominated, but. I love Moulin Rouge. What are you doing at the table? You're blowing Tommy's mind How today. Did, like, clearly, and you chose it. I did, And I don't like Bridesmaids, remember? I don't. You don't like Bridesmaids? No, I, where's my mic? I'm out of here. <laughs> Can we stop talking about this stupid yeah. movie now? Okay, and talk about another stupid movie. What's the other stupid movie? Uh, Pain and Gain. Let's watch the trailer first. We're being kept down by people who cheated to get where they are. I got a plan to change that. You can't kidnap a guy and take his things. Sure we can. Victor Kershaw is a criminal prick who deserved bad shit to happen to him. 
this was my choice only because it's out recently. So we had to yeah, put it on. We did. Because oh, I assume because Mark it's Wahlberg because it's looks hot. So in the show. stupid. <laughs> Mark just, Wahlberg, no, he does not look he's hot. He's humongous. In this. He he's always like looks 400 hot. pounds. He looks bigger than he's ever been. He just looks like movie. a big ball of mass. Yeah. It's like sourdough bread. And The Rock is in it. So well, that's right. He's hot. Uh, Melissa Ooh. McCarthy is in it. That's, that's a surprise. Funny. And What's and then the one Rebel, from Rebel will oh, yeah, I know. And we love her. Yeah. Yeah. We love both of them. They're so hilarious. they might be saving I just, I kind of feel like we're calling this movie really, really stupid, but I feel like it might actually surprise us. Right. It looks like it's for straight guys who are in a frat Absolutely. and they're just supposed to get yeah. drunk and watch it. Absolutely. I think that's the only people that's going to appeal to them. All right, and Iron Man 3 is another one that's coming out. So I'm going to let, so I'm gonna let Tommy talk about this one because it. he just went to Fan Expo and yeah. he's the nerd. So. Uh, okay, so let's, let's throw to the trailer for Iron Man 3 and then we'll come back. I'm gonna offer the choice. Do you want an empty life or a meaningful death? You're not a man. You're nothing more than a maniac. I'm not afraid of you. No politics here. Just good old fashioned revenge. Okay, so this is the third installment of pretty much one of the best franchises I think that's ever been made. I love Iron It's Man. perfectly cast. Even awful Gwyneth Paltrow is fantastic. <laughs> she looks good in that trailer. She yeah. is fantastic yeah. in these movies. Um, so it's the third one, and this this movie happens after, in, in the Marvel timeline, it happens after Avengers. So this is directly okay. after it. Okay. So we've got... Are um, they in the same, like, the yeah, same everything, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. it's, all, it's all the same. Okay. So we've got Sir Ben Kingsley playing um, the Mandarin who is... Oh, that's who it that's is. That's who it it's is. It's all shady in there. So yeah, know. really shady. Um, so I don't, the plot, I don't really know much about the plot yet. Apparently well, nobody does. No right? one really okay. does. Yeah, I was trying So to it's not based on one of the comic... No, it's based it's on... It's your story. It's, it's, it's <laughs> story. Here's my question though. Yeah. It looks so dark. And the reason I love this franchise is because he's so f***ing hilarious. Yeah. And I love, like his jokes are just so like rude and disgusting and hilarious. And he makes no jokes in these trailers. So well, I'm worried it's going to be well, like Well maybe they're depressing. saving that. Like they're, I think. Okay. I don't want to hear all the one-liners. No, but like any one-liner. Yeah. But I guess the theme of this trailer is like the Dark Knight one. Like it's supposed to look terrifying and yeah. like scary and yeah. stuff. So I, I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll watch it. We're I all going to go see oh, it. We're all going to go see it. Everyone loves it. It's, so it's good. IMAX 3D, 3D too, right? So. Yeah. We're going to move on to TV now. And the first one on the agenda is the Real Housewives of Vancouver. <sighs> this finale was everything yeah. else. Yeah. That said, I am hugely frustrated they're not doing a reunion. And yeah. it is the only Housewives franchise to That's not do a reunion at the end. And we all, what did we say? Like, we feel like this is them saying we're not coming back. So what? I don't know. It's... I feel like they didn't have the budget to do it. I think I the budget. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I kind of feel like maybe they didn't do a reunion because maybe they just, like, I'm sure Mary does not no. want to hang out with Jody. Like, no. I'm sure that's, and no. like, really. So, so and I won't recap, I'll let you speak, but the tea party <laughs> and the screaming and f people realizing that Jody is basically the devil yeah. was yeah. everything for me. Let's cut to the tea party. Oh, can we show some? We'll go, okay, let's go to the tea party. Jody! Amanda! Don't go there with me! You pick your f loyalty! You know what, Amanda? You chose to put me in the same room as Mary. And unfortunately, my pot has snapped. She is a piece of shit. There's no question of my loyalty. Don't put your finger at me, Amanda. Okay, there's no question of my loyalty, Jody. Pick your <laughs> side. She just said it to Amanda. I wanted you to pick your side. I'm Russell. And you never could do that. I no, jo jo the rich part is that Jody calls Mary a sociopath. Yeah. Like, since several times yeah. in the course of this yeah. season. And it's obvious that Mary, or that Jody is the sociopath. Well, I just, yes. I kind of feel like, I mean, we talk about this all the time, but I kind of feel like, does she actually realize what she's saying? Like, is she no. is she putting an act on for uh, this show, or sure. is she actually batshit? Actually, she's some of her shit. friends will describe her as like, oh, she's great, she's loyal, yeah. she's nice. and maybe she is. No, I've met her, and she was super nice, but yeah. in the situation, like, she actually feels, I think, that Mary has done stuff to her business, right, and, yeah. and that is the worst thing that you could do to her. Either Jody needs to go or okay. either Mary needs to go because that is getting really. Well, what's Mary? I, I married a billionaire. She'll have her own show after this anyway. Yeah. So, so okay. Ideally, okay. Amanda also needs Amanda's to. Amanda's dumb. Go. She needs to start Amanda. drinking. She and then she needs to start drinking yeah. or she needs she to needs go. To yeah. Yeah. You know what would have gave, given it some hope for all of the, for this cast is if when Mary and Jody they apologized to each Ooh. other, if Jody actually yeah. accept, accepted it and, and they kind of instead, instead of saying, she said the best line of the season. 
You had bad, bad breath. breath. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, it's, just, it's just so Do you funny. want Ryan to stay or she can be right Ryan needs to go. Needs to go. Oh, We're over the, the yeah. lips, the yeah. kids, I just, the not drinking, the just, drinking. No, she just, also, oh. I feel like she's also like, I hate Mary, but then I love her again, but now it feels bad for her. And I feel like I have to protect okay. her. Hey, we know what's been the whole time. And then we slept though. together. No, we didn't. Like, like, oh, oh yes. me in love with that. Yeah. Yeah. Her. No, yeah. that's right, Cole. Yeah. Move on. We're talking too much about yes. this. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to move on to some non-reality shows right after this. All right, we're going to continue on with television. And Adam, you had a couple shows that you wanted to talk about. Season two of Veep. And I don't think you two are watching it. I don't watch it. it. I watched the whole first season. First season. Have you seen any of it? Oh, yeah, I've seen some of it. And I, I like it. I just, you know, it's, I don't watch it all the time. Let's start it out, see if people are going to like it too. I got ginseng, I got protein bars. I do that stuff that junkies use, you know? When it takes a cop like 15 bullets to put him down. A paper that your daughter wrote ended up on some guy's blog. This is why China regulates their internet. I'm not gonna say sorry. Bring her to the air base. Get some towels, I may need to daughter board her. With this hostage situation, I don't think you have the intelligence. As in intel. You want me to go to a pig roast to meet a bunch of men who took turns to f the pig before they roasted it? I wouldn't presume they took turns. It's not like LOL all the time, but it's it's got it's got good writing. It's, totally. To me it is though. Like it's it's not like office writing where everything's like not really happening. Like mm. they swear so goddamn much. It's kinda of like our show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's HBO and they can get away with it. Like yeah. I get beat for my but they are like <laughs> out of control. She's like, I need a goddamn crystallized dildo up my whatever right now. And they're like, okay, crystallized dildo up here. Da, da, da. Yeah. And they just get away with it. Yeah. But it's so like, this is how people in DC speak when the doors are closed and they are so frustrated with their effing lives that mm -hmm. like they go through with this. And this thing is though, this season is a lot more realistic and a little bit more dark. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering if that's gonna lose some things. Cause the first one was just outrageous. Oh, right, yeah. Obviously the vice president would not have a no. competent staff like she does. Yes. But you were saying that this season they made them more competent. They are, and they, they're like doing their jobs in the first two, and she's not a complete freaking idiot. And oh, yeah. like, Julia Lewis Dreyfus is like hands down amazing, mm, and I'd yeah. marry her if I could. But the, the show's getting on a, a more serious level, and I, I'm hoping that does well for them, because I don't know how strong it is as a show for ratings and stuff, so. Mm. You don't even know. I don't even care. Well, <laughs> would you try it again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you guys got me to watch Walking Dead, and, I, and I'm on season three of that. So, I mean, I'll give this a shot. And I'll it probably it. is. Look at yeah. 2009, like, Patrick. Seriously. Join in the club. <laughs> well, I did that with Battlestar Galactica, too, remember? Yeah, two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's next? Um, next, we are actually going to move on to some gay stuff. Um, First up is the GLAAD Awards that recently happened mm -hmm. uh, in LA. I have a bone to pick with the GLAAD Awards. Do you? Oh, do I You ever. would. Oh, get, get your emails ready, folks. I just, this whole Bill Clinton uh, thing. Oh, yeah. They recognized, and he brought it up, that like yeah, he's done things and he's regretted it. But I just, I kind of feel... So wait, if people don't know what we're talking fine. about, Bill Clinton he enacted Don't, don't ask, ask and, and Don't Ask, Don't ask Tell. And now he's getting... He got an award for an Advocate award. for Change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really? Ten Why just, years after that. Doesn't happened? matter. There's so you can't many. Change. There's so many other. Iron people. Man can change, but Bill Clinton. Uh, can't. Iron Man isn't a real person. <laughs> Wait, Bill Clinton is, it is a true story. <laughs> I thought it was based on a true story. No, well, it is a true story. Uh, so I just, I kind of feel like. It was such a publicity stunt. But aside story. from him, this was the most star-studded GLAAD Awards in LA that they've ever had. Drew Barrymore hosted it. Uh, oh. Jennifer Lawrence was there. Uh, Charlize Theron, Betty White, Theron, know, Betty White. A few weeks Kelly, ago, Kelly Rowland performed. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of people were there. It was a pretty exciting. I was going to go for a day and then I just decided it was not worth it for a day. But yeah. I mean, Do you regret that or whatever? It no, I, I mean, uh, my friends, like I said, that were there said you didn't miss much and Bill Clinton's speech was not that great. Who are and... your friends? I'm friends with all of your friends. Yeah, not away, so. girl. Oh <laughs> That's with us. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. All right. Um, and then uh, we're going to talk about the Rupologize video. Let's, let's... Oh. <laughs> no comment. So Watch the video. Yeah, Watch the video. Yeah. Watch the video. I loved this video. So, yeah. really, like, ballsy. She pretty much called RuPaul out for not putting on All-Stars because all she would have won All-Stars. That's totally. why Willem wasn't allowed on that. I mean, 
there are some rumors around that they called her and then the reason, and then they didn't want her on there because she was actually too good, like too funny and people like her too much. There's also rumors that she got <laughs> disqualified <laughs> well, because she would have won season four yeah. and RuPaul didn't really want her. It's just kind of, just kind of that stuff. So um, she's basically saying, I don't even need you because look at me now, right? Essentially, that's what I well, feel. Well, yes and no. I mean, she does want to be on TV, obviously. Like she's, she's doing it. She's, she's doing, doing it on her own. own. It's just, yeah, it's, it's he's huh? so funny. I don't get, how is Sharon Needles allowed to do this if she's like representing right she now? She already won, honey. So whatever. It's whatever. There's no contract. Oh, those... You can't like make fun of Ruth. I, I don't know. She <laughs> stole the, she steals the show. She she was oh, good. Oh, really Holy gorgeous. shit, she was good. Yeah. White face Rue, I loved it. Mm, so. yeah, she was she was she was really beautiful in that in that you know on her. On the song scene. is actually good. I the song is catchy. Song, yeah. It's cute. Willem is doing is is really funny. Um, so was hot yeah. guys making out. They were actually pretty like skeezy hot. And like Raja <laughs> made an appearance. So was that actually her? I thought they were making fun of. That Raja. was Raja. Okay, I love them making fun of Santino and stuff too because I can't stand him. Yeah. So. I love that video, and I don't usually. It's go fun, back. right? It's, it's hilarious. It's really so. She's really been very consistent with her work. Like you yeah. know, she's got that other show, um, Willem's Beat Down, yeah. and then she's been guest uh, guest appearances on several TV and shows. And her and Detox and Vicky have those videos, like that. Yeah, they really, and, and then they, they, they perform at White Party. Yeah, that yeah so she's so. she's probably not the highest profile. Oh. Well, uh, maybe. Yes and no. Sharon Needles is actually the most famous. Jujubee has the most fans on Facebook. I mean, whatever. <laughs> you know it all. She sent you a card. We all she saw. She sent me a card. And I put it on Instagram. No, but I was. I love Willem and I love this video. So good for her. Keep going. And it was I wasn't, really well produced. It was well too. produced. I wasn't a Willem fan oh. before oh. she was on the show. Really? And then when she got on the show, I was like, when she threw up, I was dying. So good. Yeah. yeah she's. I, I. So I'm. A, I'm a fan now. Had you seen her one on one, or no? You just knew of her. I'm, I met her when I was in LA when she was a boy, uh, as a boy. <laughs> but uh, but no, I've never seen. I just I kind of knew her just from the scene and just watching. But we she, just met her in. Uh, yeah, she was super. She's nice. funny. Yeah. I like her. I think on that note, we'll wrap the show up. Uh, Dave, you were great. It was great. Thank having you. you very much for having me. Maybe guys. you'll be back. You know, we never know. Time to tell me. <laughs> I won't tell. Um, but yeah, thanks again. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. No, I don't.